Here's a satellite in space above the Earth. It knows exactly where it is in space by using the stars or something similar. It has a very accurate clock. It sends out a signal with its position at a particular time. Your GPS receives a signal and knows that the signal travelled at the speed of light. So it can work out how far it is from the point in space where the satellite was when it sent out the message. So the GPS knows that it lies somewhere on a certain size sphere centred on where the satellite was. Now let's use a second satellite. Now the GPS knows that it falls on the intersection of two particular spheres. This means that the GPS lies somewhere on a circle in space. Now let's use a third satellite. Now the GPS knows that it is at one of two particular points on a circle. Not good enough. A person needs to know whether he is in, say, New York or Boston, particularly if he is a Red Sox fan. So we need a fourth satellite. Then we can determine exactly where we are. So far, so good. But it doesn't work. Every day the GPS would accumulate an error of about 10 kilometres, which is over 6 miles. You see, Einstein's theories of relativity are not just of academic interest. Because of special relativity, the fast speed of the satellite means that its clock runs slow. Because of general relativity, the satellite's increased distance from the massive object that is Earth means that its clock runs fast. Unfortunately, the two effects don't perfectly offset. So engineers adjust the satellite's clock to compensate for these effects. And that, in two minutes, is GPS.